Hi everyone. Hi guys. Um, so this is a slightly unusual one for us, isn't it? Because we we kind of didn't want to do it, but we love talking about fragrances which we love. Yeah, which is <laughs> why we're not reviewers. We 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 only ever come to make a video about something that we're excited about yeah. in the first place. Um, and we thought we but did think long and hard about whether else. we would talk about this. Uh, you know this this fragrance, which everybody else seems to be talking about. We thought, do we just jump on the bandwagon and go with it? But then we thought, if we ignore it, are we ignoring the elephant in the room? Are we being snobs by not talking about it? Yeah, and we, we I mean, we want to be open-minded and try yeah. stuff, don't we? I think that's always been a philosophy of ours. This is Office for Men by Jeremy Fragrance. Um, before we talk about Jeremy or or anything else. Um, along those lines, let's talk about let's just talk about what it smells like. So um, we, yes, we didn't buy a bottle, a whole bottle, obviously. No. Um, so we, uh, we 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 bought um, a, a sample um, on uh, to, a, a, to a Facebook group. So thanks for uh, fragrance weirdo Dan um, for this. Let's just talk about this. But I don't think we we can't just talk about the smell alone. We need to talk no, about this. No, there are other factors. As a, as a hundred and fifty four pound yeah. fragrance. So here we go. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. Straight away. If I, so, blind spot. Uh, the thing is, Aventus clone. That's what I think first. Lots of people said Sauvage and other things. Like oh. The first thing which comes to mind is Aventus clone. Now, I'm just going. I've, I've, I, this is my sample, so I have one a bit more than Joe has. Um, what I will say about this, to be positive, is the performance was pretty good. I found it did last most of the day on me, and people did notice it on me. Yeah. Do you know what? On its own terms, it's perfectly pleasant. It's it's perfectly nice. But Im I mean, immediately, 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 the first thing that you're getting out of that is Aventus DNA. Yeah. You're immediately getting Bleu de Chanel. You're immediately getting Sauvage. I'm getting a concoction. Yeah. I'm getting a, co a concoction of very generic. So you get you, 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 you kind of get a, a fruity away. citrusy. It's kind of bergamotty, but I wouldn't say it's it, it's not really bergamot. It's just a kind of generic fruity blast. I couldn't. It's a, it's it a, yeah, it's a sort of citrusy fruity, mm. quite unidentifiable. Then there's kind of bits thing. of pink pepper. Yeah, it's kind of got that kind of like quite generic designery pink peppery vibe, um, and already there's a kind of a slightly patchouli woody kind of cashmere in. Woody, spicy. Yeah, like. there's the thing is, I, I was talking to you, Joe, about this, and um, in a way, I, I almost feel a bit unqualified to smell this because we don't normally smell things of this quality. <laughs> it, it's, it, it feel there are so many. It feels like there are so many kind of generic aroma chemicals. It's a, yeah. I think after a while of, and, and this isn't to sound snobby at all, mm. but after a while of smelling really interesting, really high quality. It yeah, was really high perfume, quality ingredients. Your nose seeks out. The yeah. beauty of the composition, and you detect things, and and you you sense the the, the quality of the blend, the quality of the raw materials. Mm. This does seem like you're trying to dissect which which clone is this, which clone yeah. is that. The, the the other thing which I found weird, weird about weird, this powdery, wet, damp thing going on. <laughs> there's like the, the, there's quite the initial blast. This kind of slight like Aventus-like blast lasts a very very short amount of time, and then and then you go to this. Quite long-lasting mid, which I felt didn't feel like the full fragrance. It felt like it was the base of something. It felt like there was, there yeah. was supposed to be kind of more to I it. I understand what you mean. It and I mean, it's, I mean, it's immediately settled down, hasn't mm. it? it? Already, I've I've got that big blast at the beginning, mm. and I'm getting something quite nondescript now. Yeah. It's a little bit muddled and confusing for me. But I feel like there's something missing. I feel like yeah. uh, the other thing which is kind of really surprising about this is, you know, Alberto Marias is, is one of the, he is a fr perfume giant. Yeah. You know, but for the, uh, for the big hit designer things of CK1 and, yeah, and Aqua Di Gio, yeah. which are all perfectly fine. I mean, I, mm. I think in the, in the sort of niche fragrance game. No, he's done a few things for Ace of Venusus and... Yes, he, which, are, which yeah. are great. Yeah. But this, but this is definitely a more nod to the populist. Yeah, I mean, it does. It just smells yeah, like yeah. so many things. I was trying to I was talking to Joe about this. What this really reminds me of, if you can imagine, you're in a high school. I mean, <laughs> don't imagine you're actually sure there, but you've been in a high school locker room, and like you've got some 16-year-old boys, 
that after their, their football match, whatever, they're just spraying whatever fragrance they got for, for yeah. Christmas. So it's whatever the affordable, cheap designer fragrance is. There's a kind of melange of all of those things. With some links, mm. or axe for any of axe, you in yeah. the States. <laughs> It's just so it's so unidentifiable. It's yeah. so it's so generic. I, I just can't want to pick say, up anything. It does not smell disgusting. No, no. It, um, do, it does not. It does not smell not. horrible. Um, it doesn't smell like sick. I, and actually, um, if you want something inoffensive, quite quite safe, um, and if this cost thirty five pounds, I would recommend it. But yeah. at the price it is at one hundred and fifty four pounds, that is. Insane. It's, uh, it's actually ludicrous. You know that. It's ludicrous. That, I mean, it's quite. It's quite offensive. There's no. It smells like it's. If Zara released this, yeah. I would think. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a good that's solid. That's absolutely fragrance. right. It, it, it's not. It's not that it's a bad smelling thing at all. Mm. It's perfectly nice, but you can tell. And I'm sorry. I think we can tell. I think mm. our noses are well enough honed mm. over the years to be able to spot the quality of raw yeah. ingredients and how well they're put together. Th this may well be put together, but these are not the highest quality ingredients. I mean, so and we, and we, the, things no we, the things we just said reminds us of Aventus. This is not in the same ballpark as Aventus. It's no. not even in the same league as oh, Club de Nuit Intense. It's closer to Club de Nuit, the, the first spray. Bleu, it's no way near as good as Bleu de Chanel. If, yeah, if you, if you said I found, a, I found a 30 pound clone in, oh, yeah. in like, Beauty Base in Westfield, yeah. or, like Lamani and yeah, AB yeah. Spirit Silver and all that sort of thing. Mm. I'd say, yeah, okay. Mm. That's the thing. I, I cannot. If it if it were thirty five, nice, if it were thirty five pound fragrance that was just aiming for your every man, and also that you know the name suggests office. You just want something you don't need to think about. Yeah, you know, it's just something. It's a, if you're going for a dumb reach for a dumb reach price, absolutely fine. But if you're going for a price of that much, that you know, we're talking real high quality fragrance. We we talk about a lot of fragrances which cost far less than that. Yeah. And they smell so much better. Well, this is, I mean, this is another interesting thing. I, ha I was saying to Dan earlier, I think the whole concept of an office fragrance is kind of bullshitty. I mean, mm. what is that? If you, if you like something, but yet wear this is, it. But this is an office fragrance, but again, it's all about compliments. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to point out a quote as well, which I, I, I just pulled up. But I think, I think it's worth saying. On the website, and I've taken a snapshot here on my phone, it says, years of research, underneath, we are focusing on how fragrances perform in real life and how many compliments they get. Oh. Instead of boardrooms and focus groups, we are out on the street talking to, peop to real people with real reactions. So that's fine, but you've made a fragrance that's clearly just inspired by every generic yeah. focus group fragrance yeah. out there. So, I mean, your argument's dead in the water. You don't need to focus group something that you know has already been done for you by Dior. I mean, and if, and if we talk about and YSL, let's talk about um, it like is a, focus a, a perfume group, yeah. we love, someone like uh, Liz Moore's. Yeah, she spends a lot of time on her fragrances, and it's clear that the way she does it, she has an artistic vision, and she spends a huge amount of time trying to fulfil that artistic vision. And it's yeah. about her, and it's the idea, and the passion, and the high quality ingredients she wants to use to make a fragrance which makes a statement about her. Absolutely. And that's why they are unique, they are incredible quality. Whereas this Years feels like apart, it tries to it tries to make it's trying to please everyone without Yeah. But I, I just gotta come back to the price. You know, and we haven't got a bottle here, obviously I haven't bought a bottle, but you know, the bottle looks like shit. There, yeah. there, there are it's some... a prototype, isn't it? I think there's gonna be a change of bottle, but Yeah, well possibly. Who knows? I mean why not do that bottle for the first lot mm. of people that have But paid the thing it? is, I mean the bottle costs nothing. The contents no. of the bottle clearly, clearly costs nothing. Cost nothing yeah. I wonder I mean all I can imagine is that Alberto Maria kind of sold his soul and he said, Well I'll make you a fragrance, but it's gonna cost you ten million dollars. Yeah. And so in a actually I mean, I know it's a new company and the, the economies of scale are working against a new company, but even so, there are lots of other new niche companies that don't charge this amount. Yeah, so the absolutely. only way you could Every day there either Jeremy is you know, just trying to exploit everyone and make loads and loads of money, or Alberto Maria did charge X million euros, and so therefore that's where all the fee went. But I'm, I'm, surprised, I'm surprised at Alberto Maria for doing this because, I mean, he's a very talented perfumer. Oh, yeah. And I mean, not to not to denigrate Jeremy Fragrance at all, but clearly he's all about the vanity. He's all about getting compliments. There's a video I watched where he was in a gym with some good-looking young girl, and he was just spraying fragrances inside the metal caps and going, there, what do you think? One out of ten. How sexy is it? I mean, A, let the alcohol evaporate, kind of important. B, you're spraying it on a non-absorbent mm. surface in a metal cap. C, 
one to ten, how sexy is it? What has that got to do with perfume? Really, I, really. We should just say as a disclaimer. It's I just don't, a I don't think we are, we are disillusioned at all that Jeremy Fragrance is much, much, much more attractive than we are. I'm well, sure, questionable. I'm sure he gets far more compliments from women. He's got far more beautiful hang women hanging around him than we have. But, you know, if you've watched our channel at all, you will know that basically Please. this fragrance is everything, is the opposite of everything we stand this, for. This <laughs> is the epitome of the kind of bullshit that we try to get away from yeah. in perfume. But, and I think you should as well, and I'm not being patronising, but there is so much great stuff out there. There's so much original... Exactly. And so we wanted stuff. to, rather than just do a, a very negative us. video, we wanted to turn it into a positive. Yeah, we uh, should try to be some, some great office sense. Now, I guess we put the... Again, if you watch our, our video, you could possibly accuse us of we like things with oud, we like things with animalics, we like things with yeah. smell really vintage. As much of, beaver's anus as we can get. Exactly. Really. And so you thought, well, that's not good for the, for the everyday man, that's not good for an office, that's not good for compliments. So we've got some suggestions for you, yeah. which are things which are safe? up to... Safe? Is that a word? Yeah, yeah I, guess, I guess safe. They're safe. They, are, they are office safe. Um, but all of them are infinitely, I mean some of them a million times better. Yeah. Let, let's just start with, with our uh, sessions. So two of these, these are a real classic British house, two from the house from G.O.F. Trumper, we have got Sandalwood and Paisley. Um, Beautiful things. I mean Paisley, classic kind of like gentleman's fougere, yeah, yeah. slightly kind of shaving foam, but it feels modern with that, that, that kind of yeah. spearmint and peppermint. It's got, the, it's got a kind of deep woodiness, bit of patchouli in the dry down. And it's got that all important word, fresh. <laughs> yeah. It has to be fresh. If it's not yeah. fresh, who cares? Yeah, yeah it, is, it is fresh it's and lovely. woody. It's a fresh woody scent, which smells... It's not a clone of anything, but it is inspired by things. No, it doesn't smell quite... But it's... I mean, smell that... Where's the... Where's the... Where's your stick? I mean... <laughs> it doesn't compare. This costs 50 pounds. 50 pounds. And the, the quality, like... It's so well no, done. I mean, the quality is, is a different ballpark. Uh, another one from them uh, is, is sandalwood. Um, and things. if anyone has tried this, you know, it's, you know, it's basically the best sandalwood you can get at yeah. uh, 50 pounds. There are also some florals, loads of spice, bit of, bit of fresh citrus and, as well. And really, I mean, if, you wanna, if you're... I mean, where we are now in the city of London, if you want to talk about the epitome of an office scent, this is the kind of thing yeah. that people are wearing. It screams class. The Trumpers place, they go and get the wet shave, yeah. nice suit from German Street. But, you won't, but not everyone smells like this. You will, you know, you you'll will, smell you, different, you, you'll you stand will smell out. Different. Also, you will get compliments. The performance of this is extraordinary. Yeah. It lasts oh, it's forever for a 50 pound, 50 ml bottle. Amazing. Let's move on to another one. This, we don't talk about designer fragrances very much. No, this, no. This is an 80 pound, um, uh, designer fragrance from the house of Hermes uh, and it is the fresher version of, yeah. of, um, of equipage this is equipage geranium so ger geranium gives that bright slightly minty kind of freshness yeah a lovely a lovely classically minded fougere slightly kind of like uh, soapy kind of freshness but it smells interesting it smells yeah. it this does not smell like your everyday oh, designer straight away fragrance. that's beautiful Quality ingredients with a great perfumer, Jean Claude Elena. I mean, this is the thing. This is a designer house that cares that about its beautiful. perfumes. It smells. Yeah, it's really. The beautiful. ingredients smell good. It's well put together. It's well composed. You can see obvious structure. Per I mean, perfect. Perfect for someone that thinks you need to wear something in an office that yeah. is kind of safe but beautiful. Mm. You don't have to just wear the latest clone mishmash of boots. The, ne right, the next one That's is. That's lovely. I, uh, when this is a fragrance, fragrance I, I love, and I actually yeah. checked the price, and I was surprised that it's so low. Um, it's from the house of Floris. This is Santal, and this is eighty pounds for hundred mil, which kind of shocked me because it smells so oh, good. Oh, you, you'd easily pay more than that. This smells you know, like at least a kind of hundred and forty pound fragrance. And a house that's been around a long time. Yes. Uh, but I mean, it's not that it's important, but by appointment to, to Her Majesty. Mm. This it's smells got some pedigree so classy. It. This is one I've I've received a lot of compliments, yeah. and this one I've worn to like weddings. Very and, beautiful, weddings yeah, summer. very beautiful. It's sandalwood, but there's, there's bergamot. There's a lot of cardamom. Oh, yeah. There's a kind of grassy quality which kind of lasts right to the end, and when you get to the end of it, you get this kind of dry grass, as if you've been in a, a grassy field all day. I mean that that decimates office. That decimates it completely. It's not even like the same ballpark. It, do, it doesn't have to do anything. It's not that. That's it's smell just of, so bland and generic. It just smells. This smells. So we're not saying this for the camera. That, yeah. that thing. We've got stuff lined up. We've been smelling things every day, all yeah. day for years. 
that is generic dross. Mm. I'm sorry. Okay. It's it's nice generic dross, but it's generic dross nonetheless. Fuck me. And it's not cheap. Santal Santal is really good. Dross. Right. But if you can afford, I know not everyone can, but if you can afford to spend if 160 pounds on on a fragrance like fragrance one. There are, there are some really, really, really special things you can get. Uh, one of them is New York Intense yeah, by uh, Patricia Dunnigai. And, you know, we've talked about this. There's quite a lot of love for this. Luca Turing gives it five stars. This smells like a million dollars. Yeah. This is quite kind of a classical um, structure, but it smells so elegant. It's a fresh, woody, oh, yeah. beautiful... It lasts... All day, and it's timeless. I mean, this thing, this the original of this thing was an '80s fragrance, mm. and you you wear it today. It doesn't smell dated. Yeah, it's masculine. It's virile. All that important shit that you yeah. that you think you need to have to get compliments if that's what you're after. But this is this is that's the kind of thing a that's masterpiece. If you really want to spend that amount of money, this is a masterpiece. Yeah. It's not. I'm saying it's not even that it's not in the same ballpark for office men. It's not even the same sport. No, <laughs> like, absolutely, completely different. Okay, I've got one more. Again, if you do have 160 spend, you want something which is incredibly fresh. It's yeah, also the fresh word again. It's important. Incredibly fresh, incredibly um, also woody with lots of body. Something which lasts forever, which lasts 24 hours. Something which doesn't smell like everybody else, smells like completely unique, but something which is somehow accessible. Yeah. Um, this, this is the thing, yeah. This is Pegwell Bay. I'll put the little lid on. We've talked about it a bit before. So it's from a British brand called Haeckels. And I sprayed this to um, to Greggy Boy and, um, and to Raj and to Dan, uh, Mr. Yeah, Smelly. Yeah. And they were absolutely blown away from this. And, and we talked about it in comparison to Office, and one of the things Greg Boy said, he said, actually, it, it doesn't smell like Aventus at all, but it's that same, you know, like a similar formula of a kind of a fresh citrusy thing with a lot of woody yeah. base. But infinitely better quality, and no, sense, much, no sense of a sort of cut and paste mm. carbon copy of everything else. There's a the load of aniseed in this, and some seaweed, That's but so good, isn't nobody it? smells like this. Like, this is probably my most complimented complimented fragrance. Oh, it's absolutely glorious. Yeah, be beautiful, f bright, invigorating fennel, aniseed. <sighs> it just, it's so good. It smells so natural. It makes you oh. feel like you're, you're on, the, on, the, on, the, on the coast with these kind of wild salt marshes with things growing green, herbaceous, yeah, woodiness. The, the quality there shines through. <sighs> it's, like a, it's like good food. You don't need to decorate it with a load of other crap. If you've got the good ingredients <sighs> nice. in the first place, the simplicity of that is wonderful. Yes, yeah, uh, this thing feels like oh, this like is a, office again. This is office, and it feels like it's in one dimension. Yeah, that thing instantly feels voluminous. It's three D. It's a it's a moving picture rather than a, a black and white still photograph. I mean, this is the Haeckel system. Right, finally, I think thing. the time has come. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Instead, I'm sorry to be dramatic. Instead, you've, you've got something which you, you suggested, and I agree, so, it's in terms of quality, it's definitely superior. But, I mean, price-wise, though, this is getting into the kind of silly territory, isn't it? I think, if you can afford it, if nothing else will do, and if you can find it... Ta-da! Tabac. I believe this was about £7, which is a lot of money, but, you know, it's quality. Beautiful. I mean, just it's, it's clean, clean, oh. fresh. And people will look at the bottle and go, so "Oh back my God, see, yeah. if this is not what I want. I'm not interested in this." I'm in but it I mean, smells better. It's <laughs> oh, there's much more personality going on. It's but not it's the same play. DNA it's, at all. It smells better put together. Yeah. Like it's less all over the place. It just it does one thing and it sticks to it. It says, yeah. "I'm a fresh, I'm a fresh fougere yeah. with that little hint of tobacco going on." Um, Slightly linear, perhaps, but actually, you you wear the thing, and it and it just it puts you it puts you where you want to be in terms of yeah. in terms of mood. And I think for the office, this just smells like a well-groomed, yeah, it smells classy, freshly shaven Elegant. guy. Yeah, if you've got hundred seven quid, if you on. want to spend one hundred and sixty quid, and you want to smell better than anybody else, you want a great performing, fresh, woody fragrances, which will get you compliments and are long-lasting. I suggest you try New York yeah. Intense. Or uh, Pegwell Bay by Hickles. If you've got, you know, if you if you decide maybe I don't want to blow that money, I've only got half the money. I'm going to spend 80 quid, but I want something incredibly classy, really, 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 really classy. Santal by Flores, and I also really recommend Equipage uh, Geranium yeah. by uh, MS. Can we halve that cost again? 
Well, if we get down to his 50 quid. That's, yeah, and the, these are almost half. This 50 quid, this is Paisley and uh, Sandalwood uh, by Trumper. Or if not, if you don't like these. Divide it by five each. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're looking at that. That's less, th or, less than five times cheaper. Or just buy Blur de Chanel. Buy Blur de Chanel, which I think which is 80 quid. has been the cause of the whole problem. Yeah, which, which, or buy Bloody Aventus and find it for a good price in a group or something, if, yeah. if that's what you're after. Or buy Sauvage, they're I all get better the Yeah, I think get the sense that everyone's trying to skirt around the fact that they want Aventus or they want Blue de Chanel. Just buy the yeah. thing you want in the first place. Yeah. And Profum and Roma, we've not talked about them, look at them. Yeah, they're a little there's bit more so expensive. There's so much great stuff. I mean, there's, there's still, you we, know, we, you know, we could have done a 50 minute video on this with the yeah. but we're not going to keep on ranting. We're just going to tell you not to buy Office. And please, just don't give a shit about what gets you the most compliments because yeah. it's so dull. It's yeah. not about what gets you. It's for you. Perfume is for you. Yeah. If you wear perfume for other people, you may as well not wear perfume, I think. But that's, that's what... It's not for other people. It's for you. you know, we haven't touched on this too much, but I really feel that what he's done is you know, an incredibly, incredibly good-looking, charismatic person like Jeremy. I, I feel that he's really exploited people. People that, yeah, think that if they totally. buy the fragrance, they're going to attract women in the same way he does. And I think it's... Ugly bastards like us. Yeah. Well, you are very handsome, yeah. mine. But we're not in that game. You know, it's it's not about that. And people, people like Jeremy could probably turn up wearing dogs piss, and they're still yeah. going to be good-looking guys that are attracted to yeah. attracted to women and all that kind of irrelevant crap. It's not about that. I, know, I think it's also, is an art, and I think we should never we should proudly uh, trumpet that. Before you know, before when well, I just heard about this, I thought, well, basically, you know, Jeremy fragrance is just a celebrity launching a celebrity fragrance, and that's been done for years and years and years. David Beckham, yeah, Beyonce, nothing new, really. But the problem is, is at the price he's released it, and the fact he's re he's you know he's comparing it to Creed and and, and things yeah, like that, yeah. and it is not. It's just not in the same in the same league at yeah. all. No, that's crazy. Well. Yeah, we're going to stop talking because we've suggested lots we of say? nice things to try. Go and try the nice things. Yeah, really do. Enjoy, enjoy those, but don't buy off this Until next time. Bye. Happy sniffing.